no bond between father and son. William wounds Charles in a frank exchange two different opinions. Prince William clashed with his father Prince Charles in a frank exchange over ivory, royal expert Robert Jobson once claimed. Charles, as a single parent, has tried to avoid confrontation with his two sons through the years. But, sometimes the future king has felt the need to intervene, according to royal author Mr. Jobson. He previously recalled an incident where Charles and William held two very different opinions. Jobson once said, one such occasion took place after William told zoologist Dr. Jane Goodall that he'd like to see all the ivory owned by Buckingham Palace destroyed. According to The Guardian, the Royal Ivory Collection contains around 1,200 artifacts, some of which date back hundreds of years. Mr. Jobson claimed an informed source told him William and Charles had a frank exchange of views five years prior. The source, he said, claimed Charles had told William he was being naive and should have chosen his words more carefully. Mr. Jobson continued, while appreciating his son's sentiment, Charles believes there is a vast difference between calling for action against illegal traders now and ordering Buckingham Palace to rid itself of an enormously important and historical collection of artifacts that form part of the Royal Collection Trust. Among the items are a 19th century Indian throne and footstool and a pair of 18th century seven story pagodas acquired by George IV. The idea of such historic items, and others such as Henry VIII's quill pen, being broken up filled Charles with dread. That said, there are many who know William and his stubborn streak, and believe he will take some form of action when he becomes king, despite his father's protestations. William has always been very clear that he wishes to be in control of his own destiny. Whilst still a student at St Andrews University in Scotland, he gave an interview explaining his position on his future. He said, I really do want to be in control of my own life, and if I don't agree with what someone is saying or what someone is pushing on me, I won't do it. If I'm wrong and they're right and people tell me that then obviously I'll change my mind. I'm always open to people saying I'm wrong, because most of the time I am. But, you know, I hate losing control. I think it's very important to see what you want to do and go for it. This is something he has inherited from his mother, according to royal expert Katie Nichol. She told the 2007 documentary Prince Charles and Prince William, Royal Rivals. Diana was very stubborn, and William is as well. It's very interesting that William will not be railroaded into anything. He will put his foot down, dig his heel in, and he will not budge or be budged by anyone. William spent Christmas apart from his father Prince Charles this year. While Charles and Camilla joined the Queen and a host of others at Windsor Castle, William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge spent Christmas Day at Tanner Hall with their three children and the Middleton family. The royal family had been scheduled to gather at the Queen's Sandringham residence for the traditional festive get-together this year. However, due to concerns about the rise in Omicron cases, Her Majesty cancelled these plans. She also cancelled the customary pre-Christmas lunch. William and Kate still attended the morning church service at Sandringham St. Mary Magdalene Church. The service was Prince Louis' first Christmas Day service on the Sandringham estate, while George and Charlotte attended two years ago. The Duchess' parents, Carol and Michael Middleton, also attended the service. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are believed to have spent the festive period at their home in Montecito, California. Following Christmas, the family celebrated Boxing Day on Sunday, December 26. It was a big game day for William and George, who, as soccer fans, were disappointed that their favourite team, Aston Villa, lost to Chelsea. But they didn't let it ruin the festivities. The source says. The traditional English Christmas crackers were present, with the whole family setting off the poppers to find confetti, paper crowns and other novelties. The kids loved reading the jokes that were found alongside the confetti, the insider notes.